the ghost piper of Clanyard Bay. There was once a small settlement perched on a cliff in Scotland's wild southwest corner. From here, you could journey afar, but the locals stayed put. For the land, which should have been barren, was rich for farming, a well-kept secret. These were hardy folk. They did not complain or scare easily, but for one strange thing. On stormy nights, eerie screams seemed to come from below them. There, where jarring waves met rugged bay, stood a gaping, hollow cave. Some said a network of tunnels lay beyond. Inside it lived wicked fairies. No one dared venture into the cave for fear of their very lives. The cave was left untouched until, one spring day, an old piper appeared with a dog. The rough hound was as grey as the beard of its owner, who was surely the finest piper in the land. The bagpipes were crudely made, and yet from them came a merry sound that even stopped the crows from cawing. One of the locals said he would march into the haunted cave to such a brave sound. Well, almost, he quickly added. The remark stopped the piper from playing, and an odd expression fell upon his face. And so, accompanied by his faithful dog, the piper ventured into the cave, playing boldly as he went. At the entrance, the locals waited and listened. Hours passed, and the pipes grew quieter until there was no sound at all. Suddenly the hound, once shaggy, ran out of the cave howling, without a single hair left on his shivering body. Deep underground, the piper continued to play as the fairies yelled, cursing him to leave. On he went, with a chill upon him. The music soared above the terrible cries until the piper reached the cave's centre. The piper was now in the mouth of a dreadful storm, yet still he played. Furious at being bested by a human, the fairies departed. Leaving a labyrinth of mazes behind them to trap the poor piper inside. The piper was never seen again and the cave's entrance is now long gone. But hear me, stand on that cliff in the middle of the night, and a faint melody of pipes can still be heard coming from the depths below.